guys, what's up? Nice seeing you again. In this episode, finally we have left San Martin and heading over to Antigua and Barbuda. As we are sailing from the north, the first stop will be on Barbuda and after on Antigua. There are many other interesting things have happened along the way, so let me show you them closer. It is 4 in the morning and we are getting ready to head south to Barbuda and Antigua in one leg. We wake up that early in order to get a 12 hour window for us to arrive there by sunset. And how many miles we need to do? Uh, 77 miles, so we did more than 12 hours by the way. Yeah, uh, but we did our best, so we're gonna try to make it. After a very long time in San Martin, we have restarted our weekly sailings and headed directly to Barbuda. One more good thing about the whole out. The instrument that shows the speed of the boat never really worked properly because the area under the water, it's uh, the place where we cannot put the paint and it was all the time full of shells. So once we, we are cleaning the hole under the water, we can remove a little bit and it starts working. It works for a few days and it stops working again. So when we hold out the boat, we clean it very, very well. We removed all those tiny shells and now it's working very well. But we need to put a setup on it. That's what Jack is doing now. So how it's going? So this is to find uh, this, how to set up it. I don't have the book and I touch uh, everything by two by one, stay on it. <laughs> so I found the way, but now I cannot get out of the setup and we'll come back on normal the screen. The peak of our navigation was the moment when we have caught a fish. Yep, fish on board. This time we have caught tuna. So what do you have just seen? First I heard a loud splash. Turned my head, it was a big surface white. Then uh, after I saw it was a, a whale, it was two whales by the way, and it's absolutely uh, beautiful to see that. We since we start we don't we didn't see any whales. Yeah, and I was sleeping at the time, so he woke up me, and I saw them just their fins a little bit. And those you said those were those types of whales. Uh, they can be dangerous, and they are very powerful. So we kept going our way, we didn't try to move around and try to see closer, no. And like maybe 30 minutes ago I've seen dolphins along our hole playing a little bit, but still. And we also caught the tuna today, so that's something very, very special. We haven't experienced since the beginning. Yeah, and the day is not finished. And the day is not finished, but we are not finished yet. We have, we have five meals. Uh, Yes, we, we caught the, the tuna and we have five meals. So we stop fishing and tonight we start enjoying. We are 
sailing at seven and a half knots which is a very good speed considering the wind direction we are having now we have left to do about 12 miles to reach Berbuda and we start seeing birds around as this is the place where they come for nesting I think we will be able to do it before the sunset and uh, after this long long navigation I'm having a very good hot shower tonight and a fresh tuna steak with the rice probably In addition to all the animals we've seen today along the way, I have just seen a green flash at the end of the sunset. I turned my head and just on the horizon, I saw a kind of rectangle, was I would say a lime green against the orange. It's beautiful view. First time in my life that happened. That's amazing. The next morning we took a dinghy to go inside the lagoon in order to clear in. Barbuda has been inhabited since thousands of years, but Christopher Columbus arrived here in 15th century. It has a population of about 1600, most of who live in a town called Ringtown. On our way back, instead of doing one more time 10 mile dinghy ride around the lagoon, we decided to try something else, get the dinghy carried over a tiny coastline. With the help of people we have met in customs, we made it happen. That's a pretty flag. Show me. Let me add the anthem of the country. My tradition to bake our own bread on a boat. As in St. Martin, it was less expensive to buy the bread than to bake it. And now we're in the middle of Berbuda with no stores around. I'm gonna make a very nice, fresh bread and that will add the test to it for sure. Looks like I didn't forget how to bake a bread. That looks pretty for me. And I also added the potato and aluminum for a tuna. We are very curious to know what you think of this episode. Please comment below and show your support by giving your thumbs up. That's gonna be our new schedule, new episode on a new island. If it's smaller and if it's a little bit bigger, two movies on it. And I think that's it for this week. See you the next one. Bye bye now.